welcome to another lesson on watercolor painting so in this lesson we will be taking a streetscape this will be our reference so I hope you can see this uh, this is little I mean it is not very much crowded but it is a little bit crowded so we will try to simplify it so in this video uh, we will try to I mean take a portion of this image an appropriate portion of this image okay then we will try to convert that image into a thumbnail a, a small pencil sketch where we will be uh, discussing how to simplify what to simplify etc we might simplify discard certain, uh, certain things and we might even add some things to create additional interest right once we do the thumbnails then we will convert or we will make a drawing into watercolor paper that will be a very loose drawing and once that drawing is complete what we will do is we will then paint using water watercolors in a very simplified way right so we will not wait, waste any time we will jump into uh, the next process which is uh, selecting which portion of this image we should paint so it is in fact your choice uh, you could take any portion if you want uh, you could take any portion that you want but for today's painting I am more interested in this area right so I might put a select a frame containing this area and to to clarify it what I will do is uh, I'll take my L-shaped, uh, I mean, papers, and I will try to select it to my choice. Okay. So, mm, okay. So, yes, I think, I think I will do something like, uh, something like this. Right. So rest everything I will discard all this whatever is on the right okay so why that that looks visually more appealing to me that looks visually more appealing to me so that is the reason I am taking this this image okay right now now we, we our next step is to make a thumbnail so when I make a thumbnail what I will try to do is I will try to still uh, make it a little bit more attractive so what I would consider doing is I might keep this some of these vehicles I will surely keep these buildings this were the kind of this area is the 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 area which inspired me of picking this frame okay so I have to keep this we might simplify the details but we will keep it and this guy uh, it seems to be a little too big for me so I will probably discard this portion I will probably discard this thing and uh, maybe I will we will add couple of people around this area and we'll see right so we'll go to the thumbnail sketch okay now I have cropped the image to match with the frame we have discussed right so that we, do, we don't have any issues so the next step is make a frame in, your, in the sketchbook which should appropriately match to this particular width to height ratio and this in fact is also uh, in, uh, with respect to the watercolor paper so the width to height ratio of this this reference image and the watercolor paper all should match I repeat this in every video uh, because that is important otherwise we might uh, try to adjust our drawing to match with the watercolor paper and it might distort right okay <coughs> now let us start drawing and I want to and I mean make the major shapes uh, as the content of this so basically one of the major shape is the entire uh, this set of buildings okay I will take it as a single single shape okay so this is a kind of uh, somewhat a kind of a rectangle not exactly 
there is there are some changes but at least the bottom edge you could treat this as a rectangle i mean as a long rectangle and then i will see where the base is base of this particular rectangle is if you if you measure the base of this maybe around this area if you make this as 1 2 3 slightly slightly around 1 third okay maybe slightly less than one third so well, let us make one third of it so somewhere slightly below this we will get the base of the building okay now somewhere uh, let us see the corner of this building see i am I, I am trying to find out the major major hooking points in relation to which i can draw make the entire drawing okay so this is this was one of the major hooking point i got the other thing is there is a corner here i want to make that corner first because that corner somehow i feel that it match it is at the center so it is easy to fix so on width wise it is at the center so let us take the width wise and uh, almost at the center we have this corner and if you take this to this it is almost the same okay so somewhere at the center you make this distance here so it is somewhere here you you will find that here is the corner of this corner of the building and now you know th this angle so it is not a straight uh, horizontal it's slightly tilting down so just try to measure that judge that when i say measure it is just i am telling about judging okay and this is coming down now okay. now if you see there is some line going here and uh, it is somewhere not up to this point maybe somewhere up to here so we'll have to start making the judgment now from from this point if you make it is more than half i mean this i am talking about where this particular thing ends i am talking about this particular thing okay so somewhere it goes from here and it it ends somewhere here that is some kind of a judgment that we are making okay and this angle this is slightly going up due to the perspective of the building okay now we have some more buildings okay we we discussed about this now there, there is another thing going uh, along with this so somewhere here we have another building see the angle it is slightly going up it is going not horizontal slightly it is going up it is going up and it is again touching to the middle of this So you have some uh, little bit of steps happening there I don't know so you can make all these things some roofs there I made some mistake but that is okay, okay. maybe I'll shift this corner to somewhere here I'm now trying to make all those, all those uh, holdings and other things, board, etc. Okay. Now we 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 have these things in place. Now we have to go for this. So the base of this particular building, this again is a rectangle. So that base is. See, if you look from this to here, it is somewhat at the center, maybe slightly uh, right of the center. So if this excess center would come somewhere at, at this point, but it is little right of that. So from this point, if you, if I make this is the center slightly here will be this building, and it is quite high. Okay. Somewhere at the center, and also look at the angle. So there is something here. We don't really need to go for all those things. And the base of that is a little bit of down. Uh, 
and there are some uh, trees now foliage is here some foliage is here okay you don't have to really worry about all these things there are some doors or something here but, but i wouldn't worry too much about all these things okay now what i would worry here is there are some there are some boards here okay the perspective of these things are little important you have to respect all the angles there are some boards here all those angles and all you should be little careful and there are some kind of uh, i don't know what these things are really called these are for shades they extend to the the shops now if they have you know some dark stuffs there is some dark stuff here also see these darks you should be very careful these are some really dark stuffs okay. now I, i don't know you don't have to really worry too much about all this all these shapes and all but some suggestion will be good now you can make some shape, some darker tones here okay and here also there is some 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 darker stuff and some darker stuff here and overall it is dark and there are some trees here okay. now th this again we will make it dark and it will it, it in practice much darker Maybe there are some people around here. Okay, now we have to uh, give some details around this place. some people around here we'll suggest some people okay so now some more details you could suggest maybe now now we have a road here okay 
so there is a road here coming maybe we'll we'll suggest some road cross here And there are some couple of vehicles you can suggest in the vehicles here. Thing. I don't know how, how about these things are. There are some vehicles here. We could then make some electric pole. Okay, some more some poles. I don't know. Okay, there are so so many wires hanging here. How many things? You can give many some some details here and there. So this is how you just make the thumbnail. Okay. So <coughs> we will probably make some more people around here. Okay, some vehicle or something here. Maybe. We can make some some more people here. Okay, maybe some people here. All those things we can suggest when we convert that into watercolor, right? So this is not a detailed study. This is just uh, we are trying to position our major shapes and major elements. Okay, so we'll do the drawing in watercolor paper now, but in a very limited way. We'll not go do all these details and all right right now this is a watercolor paper this is a quarter sheet paper quarter sheet means 15 inch wide and 11 inch height right so <clears throat> we'll try to lightly draw the shapes okay so you remember we may, may we, have, we have mentioned that okay if we make this as one third two third etc then Somewhere here you will find the base of the buildings. Somewhere at the center, around somewhere below the two third. This distance plus this distance, and somewhere here we will find the corner of the building. And you have so just a very very light drawing. Okay. And I'm not talking much because I'm. What we are doing is we are just uh, trying to make the take the major shapes from this and trying to make it some some kind of highlighting rather than making a straight line. Some projections here and there will make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. some boards here and uh, and uh, some some kind of sh I mean shades here I really do not know what these things are
on some more steps here now compare here we will have this just some marks i am making now we need some vehicles now okay. there is some some kind of uh, see there is a truck there so i will try to make a truck here Some, something here. I am not talking here because I am trying to focus and I am only keeping the the main shapes. Okay, I am not. I am just suggesting here some 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 shapes. That's it. And you know, very clear if I should make it. I was thinking if I should make a road crossway kind of thing here I will just mark it I may or I may not I may or I may not make it ok let us see how does it work ok rest other things we will paint with watercolors ok that's it for the drawing on the watercolors there are too many details we haven't put, we will put that in uh, while painting. Alright, now we have the drawing ready. We will discuss about our palette and the brushes. Okay. So this this is my palette. Okay. I uh, will be using uh, some of these colors. I will not use all of this. So the, my color palette is cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, mauve, violet, sap green, olive green, burnt amber, burnt sienna, crimson, crimson lake, then orange, this is Indian yellow, yellow ochre, raw sienna, vermilion red. And this is little bit of Prussian blue. I usually don't take these colors. Okay. But I might use it to get some dark colors. Okay. Now coming to in addition to that, I might occasionally use some touches of white. Okay. And next is coming to my brushes.
uh, I might use, usually I tend to use uh, small round brushes, no not small one, round brushes but you could use uh, flat brushes also. This is a big round brushes, kind of a mop brush, synthetic. This is a medium size round brush, synthetic. Small size round brush, again synthetic. This is a kind of a liner brush, uh, rigger brush. Okay. So these are the main brushes that I will be using. If I use something else, I will let you know. Right. Okay, now we will go for the washes. Sorry for uh, the sounds that you might get. Like some kids are playing around. I don't have a soundproof room. Okay. Okay. Now getting to the sky. So we are not really worried about what is, what is there in the sky. So what I'm, I think this already has some reddish tint. The brush wasn't clean. So since some reddish things already happened, I think I will try to make use of that. I'm just touching here and there, okay. Some variation, that's it. Not really worried about. Some white spaces are left, and uh, I'm I'll be leaving the, those white because that will create some interest. I think I think some reds were there, so I will slightly enhance those reds. I don't know. Usually, you will not find the red things in the sky, but since uh, some red already appeared there, so I thought of enhancing it. So it's all your choice. See, these are the dynamic thoughts that might come to you when you paint. Okay. No clear uh, intention behind anything. I'm just extending it somewhere down so that there is a continuation. Okay, I don't want anything to appear all of a sudden. Some bluish, violetish thing. I am doing it for the shadow portion of the building and I might use those things here also. Some color continuation, okay. Don't, don't think too much about these things. These things I want white because I'll be using some other colors. I'm using little dull color. Okay. For some of these buildings. I'm using some warmer color for some of these buildings.
See, I'm just trying to suggest some dots also here because as if if you want to avoid a lot of details you need to start introducing the kind of uh, soft edges okay you should kind of uh, merge a lot of things then only you can what do you call it as you can avoid a lot of details so i'm just trying to do th those things okay some of these vehicles and all now i am i wanted to define the road also now so but, but for the road i want little bit of uh, little bit of colorful little bit color and in the reference i find it is very much what you call it is a little bit of more warmer so i am trying to mix some warm color also here the distant roads i find it little warmer so i am trying to get some warmth here okay and i thought of leaving some white bands here but i forgot so leave, don't worry don't you don't we can skip that step just merging the things i don't want any i don't want lot of uh, lot of sharp edges see this might fall down okay. now uh, there is there is some reddish color here i am not sure whether i will be keeping those red colors but i might i am trying to get some dark colors here because this building i don't want to have lot of details okay but there is some kind of reddish there but uh, i wanted to keep something some suggestion of that here something is falling down i think we should take it up quickly if something will happen i am not really worried about worried too much about those things this might spoil our work but let us see how how much it goes okay now here also you have some what do you call it as orange color so i will i will try to do some merging of orange color also there let us see how how does it go it will reddish there is something red here okay 
no i think we will we'll have to uh what we can do either we can wait until this gets fully dry or we could do something here i am not happy with the redness here i want a little bit more redness i don't know i want it redness there now we'll go for some color for the trees some droplets fell here what you could do is immediately you can lift those things with the tissue paper we shouldn't allow that to happen so what i am doing is i am just keeping a tissue paper here and then i am spreading i am just tapping my brush here so that some kind of uh, i mean suggestion of leaflets will happen here i want to go very very precise there so that is the reason i just did that one now next is that much of suggestion will do for this area now we have similar things happening around the top right also so i am just i'm not going to take too much of risk now just trying to suggest some leaves that's it darker color I'm not happy with that color changing it to burn sienna sienna and olive green burn sienna and olive green No, what these things are? Let us sprinkle some water. That is just again to create some texture. That's it. Nothing more than that. And while this is still wet, what I will do is I will suggest some branches again with 
burns here now and little bit of dark tone that I already have Let's sit for that side and some, some branches for this. I don't want any precise edge there, just kind of merging with finger. Because if you go for precise edges, you will have to give a lot of details. Some of this sprinklets dried off, but that is okay. I wonder it should be a little, little dark, I mean little stronger in color. Usually I don't grow this much strong. Let us see what happens. Right. We'll have to now we can do the other details, maybe some more details for these buildings and all. But I will take a break here because I wanted to avoid some merging with all these things. So I will wait until this gets a little bit of dry. Like <coughs> now it is dry. How do you check if it is dry? I mean, just the, with the back of your hand, this side of the hand, just touch and feel. If you still feel the wetness, or if it is dry, you can very easily feel it. All right. Okay. Now let us go for some of the details. Okay. This is dry. As I told, uh, this area might get little spoiled. Yeah, here it got a little spoiled, but, but that is okay, right, so I'm just cleaning my palette a little bit, because I wanted to use some fresh color. Okay. Alright, so now, now we have a lot many lot many things to do we have a lot of details to work on so let us start doing those things uh, this is uh, here there is a building so let us make that building first it, it is up to you i mean you can you can pick whatever details you want so that looks to be a little greenish in nature so i am taking a little bit of uh, raw sienna light orangish rose and I am taking and I am filling this area okay you don't you don't have to go for exact colors It is better to make this a little clean vertical. Okay. You can just merge it with the background. Okay. No, no, not have to worry too much about.
this now it should if there is there are some white spaces in between the tree you can maybe fill those okay so that you have a feeling of that this being continuous okay and now define the bottom edge of this should be kind of continuous Now this the bottom edge of this is little darker in tone, so you can you can get some darker tones. I really do not know what these things are. very darker in okay. so I, i am mixing some darks using burnt sienna burnt sienna and some blues okay so this is reasonably dark and just defining some dots if you look at the you look at the diagram and lo look at the reference it is reasonably dark okay and it is even dark in this area so i am just making some wetting this paper and adding this darkness to this so that it is dark but that we could make some suggestion i think maybe you could make some some bike or something there i'm just trying to leave some white space there so that we can may try to suggest something there okay yeah. and there is a dark door and even that we can try i what i am doing is i am taking some crimson lake and some some dark prussian blue some darkness i want so maybe we can we can still do something there but i am leaving it for uh, leaving it like this for now okay now let us come back to this area we will think it is mostly done okay maybe i'll make just a suggestion is here yeah. i don't know i'm just making it little lighter there is no specific reason for that okay now let us come and make this <coughs> what do you call it as 
this portion so this portion if you see it is almost very bluish in nature so what i will do is i will take a lot of cerulean blue it is almost very cerulean bluish okay and just boldly suggest it okay something there I really do not know what those things some suggestion I am leaving there some architectural details or something okay. just trying to mark some Dots. That's it. Okay. Now, <coughs> if you look at, there are lot of uh, bluish stuff around there. I'm just trying to give some suggestion there. something little greenish so I don't know whether I should go for that or not I'm tending to go little greenish there but it is up to you whether you want to really go there that way or not suggestion I wanted to give that's it You can always give details later. Uh, precise details you can always give later. I want to make very dark tones. Okay. Because there are some dark tones, dark touches here. At the, at the edges if you see okay and there are see some of these edges if you make some dark touches it will give some kind of uh, accents okay so that will suggest some of the architectural or some details there
okay now there are much more details there we will we'll go there okay so this here try to avoid try to avoid giving all the details okay just very very small amount of details you should give so that things are just suggested okay i'm just trying to do some some kind of uh, negative painting here okay. because some of these shapes are defined using those negative paintings this i am giving the lower edge for this boards okay now the upper upper edge for this this red uh, shadow steps i don't know See, I'm just going to be little some precise shape. I'm just trying to define. this is something usually i don't do this much precise some suggestions don't have to go for all the details Don't ask me why I am using certain colors, uh, red colors here and there. I am just following my impulse. That's it. there is some characters here i'm just trying to do some negative painting around him and maybe we we want to define some characters here also so some white space is being left for those things
So this area looks pretty dark to me, but I, I don't mind too much. I don't worry too much about that. Now we need some something for this building. Okay. So this building is needs a little bit more de definitions. So if you really look at the actual stuff, it looks that looks to be a little whitish in color but I don't want to keep that white there some darker stuff here I think that's it for those side. I don't want that that dark side. Okay. Now we have we have to do something for these hoardings. It is little greenish, so uh, what I will do is I'll take some green itself. Okay. And uh, maybe I'll take some yellowish color here and then make some washes. That, that very much matches with this color. I'm not happy. things are these are some different colored stuff that's it you, you just take it that way okay some boards don't have to worry too much about those things okay I believe that uh, this needs a little bit more definition. Okay. Now let us try to give something for the 
for these vehicles this needs to be very dark i don't want any 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 details here this this is an indian photo kind of thing this also doesn't need too much too much data is okay. and this is supposed to be some a car or something some suggestion for vehicles that's it you don't need too much of uh, too much of details here you have a bigger vehicle i'm little worried if uh, i have to really suggest that or not i'm just using little bit of white color here it uses now there is a darker color Okay, I am not worrying too much about the the what you call it as the shapes and all. I'm just suggesting something. That's it.
I don't know whether this is coming all right or not, but this color doesn't look good to me. So I am going to make it little reddish. Okay. We could have made this car as reddish, but anyway. I want any overpowering right there. So My color scheme went very bad today, but I think it's okay. I'll take some. Indian yellow and make it for the auto here. Some thick pigment. I'm using for the auto. Okay. And there is an there is an yellowish bike here, so I will try to take some yellow ochre, okay, and mix it with a little in uh, what do you call it as Indian yellow. Taking little Indian yellow and mixing it with little. A touch of white and I am trying to define this bike here it looks too much lighter in color so I'm just this is all all suggestion okay you don't have to be precise anywhere but your suggestion should be little convincing okay so We'll try to see, I mean, try to make some darker touches here and there to make it a little bit more uh, convincing. Okay. I think, I think that's it for the figures. I mean, for the, for these vehicles, we'll make some additional uh, touches. But now let us make these people.
coloring this is little difficult what color you will select for all these things I find it little difficult I don't want any light dark color I mean I don't want any bright colors for all these things okay. some some people here and I think uh, we will I'll not make too much of details here maybe I'll I thought of making some white bands for the uh, road crossing area okay so uh, let me try I might spoil it but let me try some white Wait. Uh, this is some suggestive lines for the this one road and let us make some white patches also so that it looks like kind of uh, road I should have I left the white at the beginning but I forgot it is not looking very good but I think it is okay manageable so uh, since I have already used this let me highlight some of these figures so that they look little convincing This didn't come up well. The color was polluted, I think. I think that's okay. Now let us make some what do you call it as electric pod and all those stuff. Now we will make some electric pole. Okay, I am taking a, a regular brush for this and I am slightly 
shifting it There should be some more electric poles, I think. Somewhere it should be here. Maybe, I don't know where. You should be a little careful when you draw these lines. Now there are some more uh, wires hanging uh, here and there. I will make some more lines then. So I will take some some more lighter color. It looks too much brown. I mean too much black to me. So I am taking a little burnt sienna. And mixing it with here. And just making some. You should be a little careful when we do this. Okay. And uh, there are some wires going all the way. of things I really do not know what these things are some more I think suggestion will be required for the for the buildings some something some suggestion is required in addition to what we did This area I'm not happy with. It doesn't catch any light. If you look at the reference, it is catching a lot of light. Okay, <clears throat> I think here we left uh, something. So we we'll make. I don't know really what it is, but you can assume that this is something. Okay. okay. Now some, I find some shadows are not dark enough.
and these lines are not dark enough I have to make it a little bit more darker I initially made it of uh, made it with uh, white but that is not showing enough so I'll over overwrite with some darker lines okay I think this is somewhat okay except this area I am not happy with I don't know whether I can touch with some opaque color to cover it up I am trying to do some I am trying to use some white color and to cover it up see that is a mistake I I shouldn't have used that much of I shouldn't have used that much of uh, darker color there let me see if I can not a good way to do but once mistakes are done you have to make some corrections okay. once this is little dry what I will do is I might do one uh, some more suggestive strokes there just I will make some 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 pole or something there so that it justifies things are justified there some more keep white there something just to catch the light that's it so we are almost done we are about to call it off I think see this kind of works really takes a uh, lot of focus though we are just suggesting a lot of things we need to do it when a little bit efficient manner so you have to these are some direct uh, I am taking some orange from the tube itself so that this all make some give some suggestion okay I think we are done. If some highlights for these guys. I forgot this when we did the other highlights. Okay. So that there is some suggestion of things happening. Lot of things could be done in addition, but I'm not do maybe one final last touch 
for the vehicles. I will put the signature and close it. This I am not happy with, but that's okay. You will many times you will end up doing things which you are not happy with at the end. But it's okay. Okay, that's it. We will call it off now. For some reason, I feel like to make little darker touch for the for the road. I have already signed, and the signing is not even it is not even dry fully, but still, I wanted to make it little darker. Usually I wouldn't do those, those things. See these kind of uh, ideas might come to your mind and you can decide whether you need to go for that or not. This looks too... Now my signature is not fully dry, but I I don't mind. Let it let it also also merge. Yeah. See, it is really difficult to decide where you stop your work. Um, now I am tempted to do some. Some the the sky was looking too blank to me. So I just made some touches, and there for the. I don't reduce do you doing all these things. The thing is, it is your call. You you get those instincts and you decide whether you have to listen to that or not. I, I just decided to go for that. You can decide whether to go or not. Okay. Now let us take it. Take the tape out. I think this has to dry a little bit before taking out the tape. Now it's reasonably dry. I'll take out the tape. Now this is uh, uh, reasonably uh, done. I think we can we can call it as finished. But I would have thought of writing something on these boards, which I just forgot. Okay, um, so what I would do is, I'll just write down something. Okay, in different colors. I don't know what these things are. Okay, that's it. I think uh, we are done for today's work. We did a lot of changes. I am not happy with this area, the coloring. It went dark. I would have thought of going a little bit lighter. But that's okay. The, every painting is an experience. 
so you have experience the the joy of creation okay so keep practicing and we will see in the next video thank you very much